Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is what if your ex is actively connecting with your friends? It might happen with your friends, it might happen with your colleagues at work, it might happen with your family, with your parents or your children. She might be trying to stay in touch or deeply connected with your field. Her connecting with your friends, sometimes it's a way to stay in touch with your energy reality. And so, what can you do about it? Can you stop her from going to certain clubs or certain places where you used to go together? Of course not. What happens between two people, in that case, a friend of yours and her, you know, to a certain extent is none of your business. She can do what she wants and your friend can do what he wants or what they want, whether it's a woman or a man, in a way, it's like the moment you uncouple, she's out of your control field. And so consciously releasing the control, releasing the desire to tell her what to do, is a powerful thing to embrace. Because what happens when you're trying to control somebody else's actions, you're investing your time and energy into something that is not yours. The choices that she makes and the people that she decides to spend time with, it's out of your field. That's the general idea. It's freedom. You are free as well, right? There is one of her female friends with who you are connecting and bonding what happens between you and that person is, in a way, none of, none of her business. That's the ideal situation, right? Now let's bring in something else, which is loyalty to friendship. Sisterhood between her and her friends, or brotherhood between you and, and your friends. You know, you have a certain code of behavior, a certain code of ethics, that maybe is um, something that is accepted within your field. For instance, if you see one of your very close male friends starting to date your ex, you might be like, whoa, 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 hang on a sec. That's not okay. Our brotherhood codes forgive you, forbid you to go and engage with my ex. That's our brotherhood codes. It's an agreement that we never spoke about, but I thought we understood each other. So the question that I have for you, is this agreement true? Is this something that works for the planet and humankind? Do you want to have brotherhood codes that are restricting your ability or your possibility to connect with other people? And so the social dynamics that go on in there are really up to you. You know, how you relate to your friends and how you relate to your social circle is up to you. What I want to bring here is simply awareness that when you uncouple, going into a space which is maximum freedom, maximum space, which is out of your field, you guys do what you want, is a very beautiful and releasing way of positioning yourself. Because what you go like is like, I don't really care. I don't need to control that. It's no longer in my field. I don't have to play my jealousy cards on that. I don't have to, to play that controlling pattern with my friends. You know, here's a very good friend of mine. Apparently they have something going on, whether it's just friendship or something more intimate. You go like, good on you, go for it. Or you can be like, okay, if you connect with her, you and I, we are no longer friends. And so how you're going to choose to relate to your social circle and to her in those kind of situations is really up to you. My personal choice or my personal guidance is to release control, to let go. And yes, sometimes if you see your, one of your best friends uh, actively dating and having sex with your ex, you might, it might make you uncomfortable. You might feel discomfort. Discomfort is fine, it's okay. You might be like, you know why, why you guys are relating, I don't feel like you're no longer my friend, I don't trust you anymore. That's fine, you can disconnect and take distance. You know, if this is something that feels emotionally, energetically right to you. But bring awareness to these dynamics. And remember that 
your ex is free, you know. Being in certain places or seeing certain people is not a crime. And yes, if your parents, you know, if she's kind of actively connecting with your parents and you're already dating a new girl, a new woman in your life, you go like, you can tell your parents, you know, uh, I don't feel comfortable with you bonding with, with my ex to that extent, inviting her for dinner and stuff. You know, I'm rebuilding my life. I would rather her not being my family space. It's possible. And the same if you have children from a previous relationship or from a previous marriage that are not from her, you know, you can be like reconquering that territory so that uh, you protect your personal space if you feel that she's invading or you know, doing things for this from a place of wanting to stay in your life or wanting to, to be connected when you don't really want this connection to stay active. So it's something that I encourage you to check for yourself. What are the dynamics that you want to embody? Yeah, bring awareness to it and choose wisely. Freedom is beautiful. I'll see you soon for another video.